It is 1860, and the world stands mere hours away from a radical transformation. In a modest workshop, a young engineer by the name of Etienne Lenoir is meticulously crafting what will soon become one of the most groundbreaking inventions of the century. The gas-powered internal combustion engine. Little does he know his creation will revolutionize transportation, powering vehicles that will traverse continents and connect civilizations like never before. But with this monumental leap in innovation comes an unforeseen consequence. The very engine that promises progress will also cast a shadow over our planet, releasing emissions that challenge the health of our environment. As the decades roll on, the repercussions become undeniable. And now, as we grapple with the environmental toll of Lenoir's invention, a new hope emerges on the horizon, the hydrogen engine. But how did the idea of the hydrogen engine even come to be? The earliest inklings of this idea can be traced back to the 19th century. Sir William Grove, a British scientist, made a pivotal discovery in 1839. He demonstrated that water could be split into its constituent elements, hydrogen and oxygen, using electricity. This process, known as electrolysis, hinted at the potential of hydrogen as a fuel source. Grove went on to develop the first fuel cell, which he called a gas voltaic battery, laying the foundational work for future hydrogen-powered engines. However, the path to realizing the full potential of hydrogen was laid with challenges. The technology of the time was rudimentary, and the understanding of hydrogen's properties was in its infancy. But as the 20th century progressed, the urgency to find alternatives to fossil fuels grew. The oil crises of the 1970s further underscored the need for sustainable energy sources, propelling research and development in hydrogen technology. Pioneers in the field began to make significant strides. In the following decades, advancements in fuel cell design, hydrogen storage, and production methods brought the dream closer to reality. The hydrogen engine was no longer a distant vision, but a tangible solution in the making. But how exactly does the hydrogen engine function? The hydrogen engine, at its heart, is like a mini power plant on wheels. It doesn't burn hydrogen like gasoline in traditional engines. Instead, it uses hydrogen to produce electricity through a series of chemical reactions, and this electricity then powers the vehicle. Inside the engine is a component called a fuel cell stack. Think of it as the engine's powerhouse. Here, hydrogen from the vehicle's storage tanks meets oxygen from the air we breathe. But before they can create water, a little dance occurs. The hydrogen, with a nudge from a catalyst, often made of platinum, splits into positive hydrogen ions and electrons. These electrons are eager to reunite with their hydrogen counterparts, but are made to take a detour, creating an electric current in the process. This detour is what powers the vehicle's electric motor, giving the car its drive. Meanwhile, on the other side of the fuel cell, oxygen is waiting. When the electrons complete their journey, they rejoin the hydrogen ions and together with oxygen, they form water. This water is harmlessly released as vapor, the only emission from the vehicle. So, in essence, a hydrogen engine is a clean energy generator. It continuously produces electricity from hydrogen and oxygen, propelling the vehicle forward, and the only byproduct is water. It's a blend of science and sustainability, promising a cleaner future for our roads and our planet. But not everything is rosy. Hydrogen fuel cells are expensive, and production of hydrogen still relies on burning fossil fuels. Let's break it down. First, there's the challenge of producing hydrogen. While it's the most abundant element in the universe, it doesn't exist freely in nature. Extracting it often involves processes that, ironically, can be harmful to the environment. The most common method, steam methane reforming, extracts hydrogen from natural gas, releasing carbon dioxide in the process. So, while the engine itself might be clean, the fuel's production could still contribute to our environmental woes. Then there's the issue of storage and transportation. Hydrogen, being the smallest and lightest molecule, presents unique challenges. It requires either extremely low temperatures or high pressures to be stored efficiently, both of which demand energy. Transporting it safely to refueling stations is another hurdle. Given its flammable nature and the infrastructure costs associated with building a widespread network of hydrogen refueling stations, 
Moreover, the current infrastructure heavily favors gasoline and electric vehicles. Building a new network for hydrogen would require significant investments, both in terms of money and time. And while electric cars are rapidly gaining ground with an ever-expanding network of charging stations, hydrogen vehicles seem to be trailing in this race. Lastly, there's the matter of public perception. Many still remember the Hindenburg disaster where a hydrogen-filled airship caught fire. Though the circumstances and technology are vastly different now, the memory lingers, casting a shadow of doubt over hydrogen safety. Thankfully, there are a handful of companies that are set on making the hydrogen engine a staple of our roads and skies. As many other companies that were determined to make the impossible possible, so too will these companies face grand opposition. It will be up to us, the public, and our stance on hydrogen technology that could decide its fate. So who are the trailblazers that are bravely pushing forward? Toyota stands at the forefront of this revolution. With the launch of the Mirai, their flagship hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, they've showcased not just the viability of hydrogen as a fuel, but also its potential to deliver performance and convenience. The name Mirai translates to future in Japanese, and Toyota's commitment to this vehicle certainly paints a picture of a future they believe in. Launched in 2014, the Mirai was one of the first hydrogen fuel cell vehicles available for commercial purchase. It boasts a sleek design, a driving range comparable to many gasoline vehicles, and a refueling time of just about three minutes. The Mirai's fuel cell system combines hydrogen from its tanks with oxygen from the air to produce electricity, which then powers the electric motor. The only emission? Water vapor. Beyond the Mirai, Toyota's exploration into hydrogen isn't limited to personal vehicles. They're researching its application in buses, trucks, and even in homes and industries as a clean energy source. Hyundai is another automotive giant betting big on hydrogen. Their Nexo SUV is a testament to their belief in the technology. Beyond vehicles, Hyundai envisions a world where hydrogen powers everything from ships to trains, and they're investing heavily in research and development to make this vision come to life. Honda, not to be left behind, has thrown its hat in the ring with the Clarity fuel cell. Sleek, efficient, and packed with the latest technology, the Clarity is Honda's statement of intent, signaling their commitment to a hydrogen-powered future. But it's not just the automotive industry that's leading the charge. Airbus has unveiled plans for hydrogen-powered aircraft, aiming to bring zero-emission commercial planes to the skies by 2035. Such a move could revolutionize air travel, drastically reducing the industry's carbon footprint. Although there are plenty of companies pushing the boundaries of what was once thought impossible, there are some which are using others' momentum for their own personal gain. One glaring example of the challenges and risks associated with the hydrogen industry is the case of the Nikola Corporation. Nikola Corporation burst onto the scene with the grand promises of revolutionizing the transportation industry through hydrogen-powered vehicles. They gained significant attention by claiming to have developed innovative hydrogen fuel cell trucks that would be both environmentally friendly and economically viable. Investors were drawn to the company's vision, and their stock value soared. However, as time went on, doubts and controversies began to emerge. It was revealed that Nikola had exaggerated their technology and capabilities. A widely publicized incident involved a promotional video where a Nikola truck appeared to be moving under its own power, when, in reality, it was simply rolling downhill. This incident raised serious concerns about the company's transparency and credibility. Furthermore, allegations of fraudulent practices and misleading statements were brought to light. Nikola was accused of making false statements about their technology, inflating their progress, and even faking demonstrations. These revelations led to a significant drop in their stock value and a loss of trust from both investors and the public. The downfall of Nikola Corporation serves as a cautionary tale for the hydrogen industry. It highlights the potential for misinformation, hype, and unrealistic claims that can create a false sense of progress and potential success. This incident has undoubtedly cast a shadow over the credibility of hydrogen-based technology companies and their ability to deliver on their promises. That's why it's important to be cautious when evaluating the claims and promises made by companies and organizations in the hydrogen industry.
While the vision of a sustainable and clean energy future is appealing, we must temper our enthusiasm with a healthy dose of skepticism and critical thinking. As you can see, there's a great deal of potential in hydrogen technology. From cars to planes and from homes to industries, a cleaner energy future could become reality if we embrace it with open arms. So what do you think? Is there a future for hydrogen? Will it save the world or will its promises fizzle away like so many others before it? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.